Hello friends, welcome to Code Crush Coding. In this video, we are going to learn about the interview questions related to slicing and negative indexing in Python. So let's first start with the slicing concept. So what is slicing in Python? So slicing is basically the concept which is used in the data type string, list and tuple. So slicing is a mechanism used to select a range of items from sequence type like list, tuple and string. So it is basically used with these three data types, string, list and tuple. So it is beneficial and easy to get elements from a range by using slice way. As we know, the items stored in these three data types are stored in the index manner. Like we can get a particular element with the help of an index position. So to get a large number or a group of elements from this particular sequence, we use the concept of slicing. So what is the syntax of slicing so basically the syntax of slicing is in the square brackets you need to provide the three parameters like the start position then separated by colon then stop position then separated by colon then step position so basically you need to provide the start so this will be the index from which the elements will be fetched stop is the index position till the elements will be fetched Basically, if you provide stop as 5, then till the index position 4 value will be printed. Like whatever value you provide here for stop, the value minus 1 will be returned for that particular sequence. And step is basically used to jump a particular sequence. Like if you provide here 2, then it will omit the two elements and will print the third element. We will see in the demo how it actually works. Let's first understand the theory. So although we can get element by specifying an index, we get only a single element whereas using slicing we can get a group of elements. So through index position we can get a single element but using a slicing concept you can get a group of elements. So let's first see in the practical. So here I have in the PyCharm editor three variables. First is of string type which has a content code crush. Another one is name one variable which is of type list and another data type which is of type tuple as it is surrounded by the round brackets. Now I have printed here three statements which will print the type of all these three variables name, name1 and name2. Let's run this code. So see here we are getting the type of name as string, name1 as list and name2 as tuple. Now what I want to do, I want to fetch the elements from this particular data type or the variables. So let's fetch from the string type. So here I need to provide the name and from here you can provide an index position, right? If you provide here two, so what will happen as the index position starts from zero, like this C will be stored at zeroth position. O will be stored at first position. Let me show you here. So this is the string we have created, right? C O D E then space then C R U S H. Ignore the above a negative indexing. First we will see the uh, normal indexing here. So normal indexing starts from the zeroth position like the first element will be stored at zeroth position then the second one at first position and so on. So in this way the first index position is here 0 and the last index position is 9. Now here if I try to print name of 2 then what will happen? It will print this particular index position. So which element is at index position 2? It is D because C, O and then D, third element. So what it will print? It will print D. Let's run this code. So see we are getting here D. But what does the concept of slicing says? Through index position, we can get only a single element as we have seen. But using a slicing, we can get a group of elements. So let's provide a syntax of slicing. So in the slicing, we need to pass the three parameters, start, stop and step. So let's provide in the demo. So what I will do now I will say here we need to provide the elements. Let's say we want to print only this code from this string. So you need to provide the variable name. So it is name and then you need to provide the start position. So you want this particular word to be printed. So you will provide your start position at zero because first element is stored at zeroth position. So here zero then separated by colon. So till which step you want like this one right e so which is the fourth element but the index position will be 3 right because 0 1 2 and 3 so if i provide here 3 
and now let's run this code so step is optional right you, you can only provide the start and stop and also get the group of elements here so see we are getting here only cod so this particular elements we are getting we are not getting e which is stored at third index position why we are not getting this because as i have already told you like in the stop position when you provide the element it will be printed only till that value minus 1 so here i have provided 3 so only till 2 you will be able to get the elements so here the index position 2 is t if you want e also printed so you need to provide here till index position 4 so now it will start from 0 and end at 3 so 0 1 2 3 so it will print now c o d e now see here we are getting a COD. Now, what I wanted to tell you related to this step. So, why we need step? As we can see here, all the elements are getting printed, right? We want from C O D E. But now, what I want, I want to start from 0, end at 4, but I want to print the alternate elements. So, I want to step here. So, you need to provide a step value. If I provide here a step value as 1, so what will happen? So till it is printing here COD because by default it is moving one step right first it will print C then O then D and E so here one doesn't make any change but if I provide here two then what will happen it will pro print the alternate elements so first it start from zero so here you will be able to print here C then it take two steps so this O is ignored and then we are getting here D so here it is printing D and then the next element is E but we need to take step 2 but we have only provided till stop position 4 so only we are getting here two elements C and D. If I say here let me print till last index position 9 right so I can say here till 9 and step value is 2 so if I run this code then C we are getting C D then space rs so all the alt alternate elements we are getting first c then d then space then r and then s now the same thing we can apply to all other data types like we can apply to the list also so it will work in the same way if i say here uh, and also for the tuple let's run this code so see we are getting the so sorry we have just copy pasted and we have same name variable we need to change the variable name here name one name two and then run this code now see we are getting same elements like cd space rs it is of string then we have the list here cd space rs which is a list and the third one is cd space rs which is a tuple so i hope you understand the start position end position and also the step value how to provide in a sequence so basically this particular slicing is used to get a group of elements from a particular sequence. Now another thing we can do here, if I remove this start position and also the end position, then what will happen? Let's run this code. So still we are getting the same thing because by default the start position is the first element and if you don't specify the end position then it will print till the last element. So let's say if I provide a start position and does not provide the end position so it, now it will start from index position 1 so index position 1 starts from 0 sorry o so from this o you will get till the last word which is printed here so it will say o then we have provided a step value 2 then d is ignored it will print e then space is ignored it will print c r is ignored u is printed s is ignored h is printed so in this way you can play with the slicing concept as per your requirement. Now let's summarize what we have learned in the slicing. So start is the starting index from where to slice a list or a tuple. So start we need generally to provide a starting point for a group of sequence. Stop is the ending index and step is the number of steps to jump. So default value for start is 0 and stop is number of items and step is one as we have seen here if you don't provide a start and end by default the default values are taken by that particular sequence and if you don't provide a step value so by default it will be one 
and slicing can be done on string arrays list and tuple we have seen on these data types how to use the slicing now moving towards the next question so what are the negative indexes and why they are used so let me show you here so as we have stored this particular string or elements in the list or tuple so if you st start from this particular direction like from right to left then the index position start from zero and goes on till the last index available in that sequence but if you start from the end like if you start from the last position then to get the index position of last element you can start it from minus one so if you start from the first position it will start with zero but if you start with the negative index then it will start with minus one then minus two minus three minus four minus five till the last position that you have in the list or a string or tuple so negative indexes are the indexes from the end of the list or tuple or string so let's say if you have this particular variable which is of list type as you have provided your square brackets and these are the elements 1 2 3 4 5 6 and to get the last element you can directly print minus 1 and if you want to get the second element then you will print here minus 2 because it starts from last position minus 1 minus 2 and so on so let me show you in the demo here so if i provide your name of minus 1 then it will give me the last element which is available here which is h right so we are getting here h so if i say here minus 5 then what will happen let's run this code so here you are getting c so why we are getting a c because this is the minus phi index position here c that's why we are getting here this particular c also what you can do you can use the, this particular negative value in the step value as well so what you will do let's say you don't provide a start and end position and you provide the step value as minus one then what it will do it will start from the last element and it will step or jump in a negative way so it, you will be able to print all the values in a reverse way so here you have provided c o d e space c r u s h so here you are getting in a reverse manner right c o d e space c r u s h so in similar way you can use this particular concept in the list as well as tuple to reverse a tuple or list so i hope you understand the two concepts here first one is the negative indexes and the slicing concept so that's it in this video we will cover another topics in next video thank you for watching